In this video, I'm going to show you how I use a Marzano style lesson design to work through a lesson with my students. First off, it's as simple as projecting it on my whiteboard. That way every student can see what we're doing and it also helps keep, keep me on track. First thing we do is we go over our learning goal. This goal typically is worded as an I can statement and comes directly from the state published standards. After we know the learning goal, I move on to a review preview activity. This is typically done at a table with a partner, and in this case I have a couple focus questions for them to ask each other so that they can review the material that we've learned before. Next there's a one-page reading assignment and a video. This is a preview assignment that's going to help guide discussion towards the lesson of the day. Now this video can be watched either on individual devices, with their partner, or perhaps as an entire class. After we go through the review preview activity, We'll look at our learning target and scale. I like to have three focus questions in my learning target and scale, and it gives a really good example of if you can answer these three questions, you are a three. If you can explain it to a friend, you're a four. Now, typically through the preview process and the review process, students are able to answer one, possibly two of these review questions. So as they start the lesson, they're a one or a two with the goal of them becoming a three or a four. After we go through the learning target and scale, I move on to critical content. These are the key things that students must know at the end of the lesson. You can see I have a YouTube video hyperlinked into the critical content. After we move past the critical content, we're into practice and I have a reading, a reading handout, a worksheet, and a small group project that they'll do together as a table. So again, this is projected on the board so that students can see exactly where we're headed. And it also helps keep me on track. After we do the practice, I go back to the learning target and scale and we see if there has been any growth. Now typically, the critical content is linked directly to these focus questions. So now where students were only able to answer one or two questions, now they can answer three, and if they feel that they could explain it to a friend, they can mark themselves as a four. Now after we do that, it's celebration time. We celebrate the successes, specifically the growth that we have made since the beginning of the lesson. And lastly, I go back to the reflection piece, and this is typically how we end out the class. And being a history teacher, I like to take the history of the past and try to link it to things that are happening right now as history is being made. 